Def Leppard. This goes out to my student Mike, or Michael. And this is Animal from Michael. Standard tuning. We were working on this a little bit in your Skype lesson, and I, uh, like I often do after the lesson, was still intrigued with uh, some of the recordings in this and how it was being played. We were discussing the feel of it and um, little voicings, in the, and they're not technical. They're just so freaking creative. So um, I might have a little bit much on the reverb. I'm doing the best with what I got here. So what do you say? Let's do it. So we're starting with 3G. And what you want to do is go 3G, 6B, and 6E. You're going to hit all three and just whammy it. Now they got that overdub where you hear like... Just leopard, man. Mutt Lang, leopard, what can you say? Next part goes. Um, so, separation here between palm muting and notes and some string skipping. Go 10B and 10D, and you kind of see the rhythm. Uh, once you get through this first subgroup, it'll be B, D, D, B, D, D, B, D. Now the D string is all muted, the B string isn't. So uh, we're muting the D string, and Mike, like we were talking about um, in your lesson today on Skype, um, the natural angle of our hand when palm muting, you know, usually we're rock players and metal, we're used to playing it up on the low E or maybe the A. As you start hitting the D and G, which Leopard does a lot, uh, we have to make adjustments. Twist your wrist or move your arm back a little bit, but make sure you have more note than palm mute or you're going to choke it out. So, then go 11B, 10D twice palm muted. So, and then we're going to go 10B, half step bend, but uh, let it ring for a second and then bend it. So we need to make sure we're doing half steps. We're uh, achieving that by the bend. Then 11B, once, 10D twice, palm muted. It's like the same beat. You're going to do that twice. And then once on the B and once on the D. So all the D is palm muted. Thirteen B, ten D palm muted twice, and then eleven B whole step bend. He gets a little bit of a pinch on it, and vibrato. Cooperate here. It's my baby. Thank you. Then you're going to do some octaves, 10D, muted G with the angle of that index, just like as if you're barring it, but not barring it, just touching it, and 13B. So we're going to strum D, G, and B. Like I said, the G should be muted. And we're going to go, and then palm mute that 10D. So, and then do it again, the octave, and then once on the 10D, palm muted. So we have, right? Um, you'll go down, up, down on the octave. So, oops. And then hit it an extra hit, down, up, down, down. So. Um, then the next part, very percussive, I love this. This is the part I'm trying to zone in on. Um, there's two guitar players, they're both cleverly, strategically placed, but um, here's what I'm going with. Oops. Colin, man, 8D, 5G, 6B, 
Go ahead and bar with the index because we're going to need the 5B in a second. Strum those uh, three and then palm mute the D string. If you hit the G with it, that's fine. But Now do that again, but just remove your middle to where it's 5-5 um, five, five on the G B. So we have... So chord, chunk, chunk, chord, chunk, chunk. So we have... And then again. And then again. And then go. Let's piece it. There'll be one palm mute um, at the end. So listen closely to the palm muting. Alright, and then... Doing eight five six eight five five eight five six eight five five. So we have. Oops. Again. Up to the one palm mute on the D string, and then we change. So. Six eight six eight, and then eight slide to ten, and then five B. Da 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 da. So we have, and then start it over. Then, um, instead of going, we're gonna fill that in with something a little different. Although you can do that for the last one, but. Um, here's what you're looking at for this one. Five six G B to five eight, and you're gonna do that twice, and then five six to five five. So it's got the same beat feel, right? Da 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 da. And then the next um, guitar part comes in, it's another real clever, you gotta listen close type of riffs. So, 3A middle, palm mute, open D palm mute, and then 3D palm mute. You're gonna do that twice. And then go open 2, 3 on the D, palm muted. 3A palm muted. 2D palm muted, 3D no palm muted, with a little vibrato. Okay, and there's two variations in this part. The next one goes. So it's got an altered ending. We have an A ending and a B ending. So you'd start it over, up to there. Your 3D the second time, and then go open D, palm muted. 3D palm muted, 3 slide to 5, no palm mute, and then 3, 2, 3 on the D, palm muting the first two of those. Those are going to go every other, so, um, or do they? We go back to the first one, so if we split this pie into four pieces, we did the first one, the second one, now we're going back to the first one, that'll fill in the third gap there, let's play those three. every other. First subgroup, second subgroup, third subgroup same as the first, fourth is the same as the second. Alright, then the um, next part comes in and it goes. Let's try that. So, 4G with your index, you're going to palm mute and go down, up, down. And then we can start this pedal tone riff. 7B, 4G. And all the G string is going to be palm muted, so. 6B, palm muted 4G. 
And then 7B, a little bit of vibrato. Okay. So we have... Um, same concept, no triplet here. 6G, palm mute, 7B. And then same thing again, but go 6-6-G-B. And then back to the 6-7-G-B. So your last note of each of these subgroups is in palm mute. Then we go. Uh, 6G. Once again, all the Gs are palm muted. And then 9B. And then 6-7-G-B. And then 6-9-G-B. Then this part's pretty cool. Um, you'll have to... It's a little different mic than uh, on our lessons, so... You'll fret hand mute, basically the D, G, if you hit the B or whatever, it's fine. Don't overanalyze the fret hand muting, just you want that. And then that'll lead you right in. It's a triplet leading into 11, 10 on the D and G. Then 11, 11, D, G. And then 9, B. So it's... Then you start it over. But don't do the triplet this time, just go. Um, wasn't going to show this part, but I'll show it really quick. It's uh, just a power chord on the last two strings. Go 979 EBE whammy vibrato. So, um. um then E B B nine seven seven. Bushings wore out in this, so I've got way too much play. But... Back to the first one, and then then B E B E. All right. So you know Duff Leppard, man. They they think about their their parts, man. No doubt about it. I mean. What did this album take two and a half years just to release? Of course, they had some stuff going on with members, but, you know, people get impatient in bands sometimes and just, you know, throw stuff out. And it's like, even in past bands I've been in, I'd rather take the time, man, and make sure every little thing is how I want it. And, you know, that's Def Leppard. But they also had Mutt Lang, who actually came in on the Pyromania album, and um, you can hear that he pushed them. And every little thing counted, you know, every little... Uh, drum roll and hit and the way they were EQ'd in the recording studio. Just really cool. Anyways, have fun with this lesson. Um, a lot of Def Leppard on this channel and a lot of requests for Def Leppard. Rightly so. Good guitar stuff. Email rockandguitarlessons at hotmail.com if you're interested in some private lessons on Skype. Um, I teach around the world. I'm California, so Pacific Standard Time. We may have a time zone difference. Skype will uh, tell us. And uh, I'm all talking about Skype like it's Siri, huh? But 60 and 30 minute lessons per week or bi-weekly. And the same day, same time each week, um, I offer guitar and bass. My, my wife, Jolene, offers vocals. And um, most of my students, man, this is what we do. We bust down the songs and um, get them right, get all the little things. It does matter, man, in making your playing cleaner to take that extra time, you know, to polish up on those things and, and get them right, you know. And uh, it's fun. It's a fun way to learn. So if you're interested, you got my email. I'm... If you can't do the lessons with me and you still want to take lessons, check into my CVT and CT lessons. You can read up about those here on this channel in the description or even in more detail on my website, rockingguitarlessons.com. They're basically handwritten tabs, very detailed, scanned and sent to your email. And then a CVT is the same thing with has a video um, that I upload. So uh, that's it. Add me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. And share this stuff and subscribe to this channel. Do it. It's the right thing to do. It just is. Get involved. Click that notifications icon. Keep your requests coming. Be patient, guys. I get some mean emails from a few of you once in a while. It don't happen very often, but uh, I think it's, you know, the younger kids, like, pissed off at me because, you know, they made a request three times, and um, I'm through with Mike because he didn't do my request. It's like, cry me a river, man. There's one of me and 106,000 of you, and that's just subscribers, so... You know, I do my best, um, you know, 
and uh, I enjoy doing it, but just be patient. There's no guarantee your request, you know, it may be years till it gets done, you know, or it may be uh, two weeks. I, I just don't know. This is one of me. So, um, but anyways, I love y'all. We'll talk to you guys later and uh, keep rocking with the leopard. Thank <laughs> you.